Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. In this video, we are doing Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs and we're getting started right now. For this first idea, all you gotta do is head on down to your local Dollar Tree, pick up a star wreath form and five of their mini Christmas trees. These mini trees come in white or green. It doesn't matter what color you pick up. Just pick up five trees and fluff them out so they are flat on one side and fluffed on the other side. Then grab some garland ties from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. They both sell them for about a dollar. And you just have to attach a garland tie to the inner and outer points of your star. That's how you're gonna attach your trees to your wreath form. Now, hey, heads up, I do wanna warn you, the bottom of those trees are super sharp. I actually sliced my finger open as I was making this DIY. So DIYer, beware, the metal part of the trees are super sharp. Then all you have to do is make a bow or you can purchase a pre-made bow from Dollar Tree or Walmart. They both sell them for about a dollar once again and attach that to the middle of your star. And now you can just embellish your star however your Christmas heart desires. Totally customize it to your style. I just cut down a few pieces of a Christmas pick, hot glued that around my bow. I added a bell to the middle and called it a day. And y'all, I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Originally, I was gonna make this and then post it on my neighborhood you know, Facebook page, like, hey, free Christmas decor. But I liked it so much, I kept it myself and I hung it on my front door instead of a wreath like I usually do. I love it, I hope y'all love it. And we're on to the next one where you just need to grab five of the white trees. Now, the cool thing about the white trees is they take spray paint super well. So if white or green isn't your Christmas vibe, Paint them gold or paint them pink. I don't think hand painting would work well for this, but spray paint worked like a charm. Then you just wanna pick up the largest size wreath form that Dollar Tree sells, which is their 18 inch wreath form, and just lay your trees all the way around the wreath form. No hot glue is needed. When you have them in place where you want them, just grab a few tinsel ties, tie them up. That is it, my friend. Nothing's permanent. This can be taken apart, reused, and it's customizable. Gold is not, it's not mainly my Christmas jam, but I made this for a friend. She loved it and it works well with her theme. She's very like modern, minimalistic. She does like black golds. I don't even know if she does green for Christmas. And for this next idea, you just need to grab a planter or a waste basket and a small can about the size of a tuna can. Just glue your can to the top of your planter and grab the largest ornament that Dollar Tree sells, which is their five inch ornament and hot glue that to the top of your can. We're making an angel if you're wondering where we're going with this. And this is the body of our angel. And you're gonna wanna paint the body of your angel whatever color your heart desires. Now this DIY, you can hand paint. I just prefer spray painting. I like the nice smooth look it gives, but you can totally hand paint. And then you want two trees. I think the white trees work best for this DIY and you could leave them white. Angel wings are white or gold. I painted mine gold. Once again, personal preference. Then take a drill or your hot glue gun and poke two holes the same size as the bottom metal part of the tree and just stab your trees into the body of your angel. Optional, you can add a bow around the neck. And then for the halo, I use the smallest wreath ring that comes in this three pack of wreath rings from Dollar Tree. I'm very happy with the way this angel turned out. Y'all behind the scenes, which you didn't see on video, is I attempted to make some type of angel using these trees as wings like five different times and it kept on looking like a ghost or it looked like a DIY. I'm happy with how this turned out. It's modern enough, it's traditional enough, and you can customize it so you love your angel just the same. And for this next idea, you need to pick up the smallest wreath form that Dollar Tree sells, which is their eight inch wreath form and six mini trees. You're going to space them out evenly all the way around your wreath form. I used hot glue as a placeholder, but it's not a strong hold for this DIY. You're gonna wanna go back and use zip ties or tinsel ties to secure your trees in place. Then what I did, and I wish I wouldn't have done, was I used tinsel garland to cover up my wreath form and the base of the trees. In hindsight, I wish I wouldn't have done this. It wasn't necessary or it may not be necessary. It's really gonna depend on how you embellish your snowflake. So what I ended up doing was picking up four of these 97 cent picks from Walmart. Once I glued them down, 
added an extra large bow, I didn't need any of the tinsel garland. So you may or you may not need the garland. So in conclusion, you may not need to wrap your wreath form with tinsel. It's going to depend on what florals and what bow you add to your snowflake. To hang my snowflake, I just used a tinsel tie, twisted it around one of the trees on the back, and then used a Dollar Tree garden hook to swag it over my fence. And y'all, even after I wasted time and money with wrapping in the wreath form in tinsel, I still love this DIY. This mamma jamma is three feet wide. I've seen, and I've done myself, snowflakes using Dollar Tree supplies before, but what I did and what I've typically seen people do is crisscross the base of the trees Adding the wreath form in the middle makes it so much bigger. For this next idea, you just need two mini trees and some very cheap Walmart spray paint. I hate Walmart spray paint for spray painting, but I love it for giving a flocked look. Spray painting will give a flocked look just like faux snow, but it won't flake like faux snow and it's permanent. So you can put it outside and it won't be washed away in the rain. Then grab some candle holders from Dollar Tree and one of their decorative trays. Now the cool thing about this tray is it's black on the bottom so there's no painting needed. It matches the candlestick so just glue your candlesticks to the bottom of your tray which is now at the top of our tray and then swag your trees in the front of your candles. And you can embellish this once again however you want. I collect pine cones every year and dry them out and then I'll flock them with some chalk paint so that's what I'm using and then some berry picks. To attach your swag to the candle, don't use hot glue, or you can if you want. I didn't want to. I didn't want this to be permanent. I wanted to be able to reuse the candle part. So I just twisted two of the little things around the back. Traditional Christmas, super easy to make, super beautiful. My favorite type of DIYs. I also think it'd be really cool if you want to put this on your table for a centerpiece. Just copy the swags on the other side so you need four trees instead of two. All right, pick up two green trees and we are going to flock them just like we did in the last DIY using cheap Walmart spray paint. Take some pliers or scissors and cut off the top long part of the tree and be super careful. You don't wanna slice your finger open like I did on the first DIY. I'm using hot glue to cover up the sharp metal part, but we're not hot gluing the two trees together. To get our two trees to stay together, we're just twisting around two pieces of the garland branches. Then you can use whatever bow your heart desires. You can make a bow. I picked this bow up for 98 cents at the good old Walmarts. Set that aside and grab a planter or a waste basket again. And you're going to paint this a gold or metallic color. Once again, you don't have to spray paint, but I love spray painting. And then you're gonna take your hot glue gun, poke two holes at the top of your bucket. Grab some twine or some ribbon, string that through your bucket and grab an ornament that is the same color or paint an ornament to match your bell because we're making a bell and that is it. Now the top of your bell, you want to make a loop so you can hang it. And then to attach our Christmas trees or our swags, you're just going to fish the loop through the loop of the swags that we made with the branches. Does that make sense? I don't know if my words got all jumbled together, but I know you saw what I was doing. This was really simple to make, gorgeous, classic. I'm a very much traditional green, red, white, slight gold type of gal for Christmas. And I love the way this turned out. Okay, for this idea, I want you to pick up a hula hoop from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I know they're not selling them right now. Check. Dollar General, sometimes they still have them in stock. And I also found that Five Below and Family Dollar both sell pretty much the same size, cheap little small hoop for less than $3. So you can check there just the same. Then you'll need seven trees, fluff them out so they're flat on one side, fluffed on the other side, and place them around your hoop. You're gonna use hot glue to keep your trees in place, but hot glue will not give a strong, secure hold. You'll want to go back and secure your trees with zip ties or tinsel ties. Although actually I think zip ties would be the best bet for this DIY. And that is actually it. Y'all, seven trees, one hula hoop, for only $8, you have a 37 inch wide wreath. 
Once again, another huge mamma jamma on the list. This would look cool over your garage. You can just add some lights, it's gorgeous. But if you wanna take it up another Christmas level, you can pick up some Dollar Tree ornaments and just hot glue that all the way around that bad mamma jamma. And that is it. Now you have a huge Christmas bedazzled wreath. I mean, it looks great both ways. I wish I would have thought of this a few years ago when everything was still a dollar because this would be cheaper than the green wreath I've made with a hula hoop that I hang over my, I hang it over my garage. So yeah, I gave this to a neighbor and she loved it. And for this next idea, you need one of Dollar Tree's green trees. I flocked it. You want to flatten it out and then pick up whatever ribbon your heart desires. I really love this red velvet ribbon from Dollar Tree. It's only $3 in the plus section. It's really pretty, has a nice feel. And you're just going to hot glue the ribbon over the sharp metal part, add a bow and call it a day. Now I ended up cutting the loop part and then taping it to my door for the swag. This is a little door we have in our house. And then I use that same ribbon and taped it to the sides of the doors to decorate for Christmas. And I think this is really cute. My daughter thought she was suggested that we should do this to all the cabinets. I don't have enough trees to do that, but I think that'd be cute too. And for this last idea, all you have to do is pick up three trees, whatever color your heart desires. Now I made this for the friend, the same friend I made that gold wreath for. So I painted all three trees gold. And then I just used a tinsel tie to secure them together and added a bow. Once again, she's a modern glam type of person. So a black bow. She actually gave me ribbon. I didn't have any ribbon like this. Really pretty velvet ribbon. Really pretty for modern glam. And that was it. But you could do this with the green trees or you could paint your trees pink and make it customizable to you. Hopefully I can get one more Christmas <laughs> DIY video out, more so like a hack for gifts and decorating, just last minute ideas. I do know for sure I wanna do an organization video the end of this year, the beginning of next year. I don't know, we'll see. You know, my daughter's in town, so that's taking up a lot of my time. So much love to you, my friend, and I will catch you next time. Merry, Merry Christmas.